There was one thing that came to my mind when I walked out of Jurassic World. No woman can run in high heels better than Bryce Dallas Howard. Like, just wow. Everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review. <laughs> Jurassic World. So, Jurassic World is the fourth installment in the now Jurassic Park franchise. So Jurassic World is directed by Colin Trevorrow, who is the same director that brought you that independent film, Safety Not Guaranteed, and the film stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Jake Johnson, Vincent D'Onofrio, Nick Robinson, and many more. So in this movie, Jurassic World, the park Jurassic World is now officially opened after years of studying all of these genetics. It is now officially open, and Bryce Dallas Howard and the rest of the team they're trying to build this breed of dinosaur called the Indominus Rex in order for that dinosaur to attract more people into Jurassic World but as you would expect in a movie like this something goes wrong so it's now up to Chris Pratt and the others to stop this Indominus Rex so going into Jurassic World I will say I was very interested I wasn't like excited it wasn't a movie I would put in my anticipation list even though I loved Jurassic Park. I mean, you've heard it from everyone. It's cliche to say it, but Jurassic Park, it's a cinematic achievement. One of Spielberg's best. I love Jurassic Park. It's such a great film. I've seen bits and pieces of the second and third film though, so I can't really give you my opinion on those two. But Jurassic World, I was just hoping would be a good movie. Does Jurassic World deliver that, at least in my opinion? Not really, to be honest. But it is a fun movie. It's just not a good movie. And that's just because I did have a ton of problems with Jurassic World. So the first positive thing about Jurassic World, of course, is Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. This guy continues to amaze me. He's really great in Guardians of the Galaxy. He was really great in Zero Dark Thirty. There's tons of other like small roles he's done in other movies in the past, but this guy shows he really has what it takes to be an actor. He's very charismatic. He has a lot of personality to him. He's interesting. The way he talks to the dinosaurs is very interesting. And how they handle the aspect between him and the dinosaurs so heartfelt. I mean, there was one scene without spoiling Jurassic World where I kind of got the feels like one particular scene because of how great it was. In that aspect, Jurassic World really excelled with that. I love that whole aspect with Chris Pratt and the dinosaurs. And to me, Chris Pratt's not the only good actor. I would say the other standout is actually Bryce Dallas Howard. I really love Bryce Dallas Howard in Jurassic World. She was fantastic. To me, she's just as great as Chris Pratt, in my opinion, because she does start off as a selfish scientist. I mean, she really did not care about her nephew. She's a pretty bad aunt in that sense. But as the movie is progressing, you see a change in her character. And that's definitely something I will give Jurassic World for. The fact that this character started off from being very selfish, selfless, very careless, to being very caring and very strong. I thought she was actually a pretty strong female character. And I was actually rooting for Bryce Dallas Howard as much as I was rooting for Chris Pratt. I also do think the visuals, for the most part in Jurassic World, were very stunning. Very beautiful, very clean, especially when you look at the dinosaurs and the overall world of Jurassic World that you're just 
immersed in it's just really cool every time i look at the dinosaurs it just brings me back to the jurassic park days michael giacchino also does do the score for jurassic world and i gotta say that he did an excellent job he respected the scores you would hear in the other jurassic park movies but he kind of made it his own at the same time which I really liked. The cinematography is very beautiful, very well shot, very clean, especially when you're just looking at the overall scope of Jurassic World, which is really beautiful to look at. It just makes it that much more grander thanks to how beautifully shot this movie really is. Colin Trevorrow, I will also say, does a really good job for the most part directing this movie, um, for this being his first big budget movie because you know he came from a small budget independent film he does do a good job for the most part with jurassic world there are some scenes that were really intense that really gave me the chills that had me at the edge of my seat the scenes that really gave me that jurassic park vibe and the last thing positive i will say about jurassic world is that the brother plot for the most part, I actually thought was very well done. The one between Nick Robinson, who I love from Melissa and Joey. I really enjoy watching that show from the ABC Family Channel. And the brother that you would see in, I believe, Iron Man 3, if I am not mistaken. When it starts out, I'm not quite buying into it, but then... I guess once they're in that big round ball that's in Jurassic World, that's when I started to get really invested in their plot line. And I know a lot of people didn't like it. They, they felt it was unnecessary. I could see why, but I really liked it. My negatives with Jurassic World, however, is first off, this unnecessary, the parents are divorced plot. Did that plot have to really be in Jurassic World? Like, did it really need to be in this movie? The parents are sending their kids to Jurassic World where they can possibly get killed and eaten, surrounded by all of these dinosaurs? Yeah, that's real good parenting right there. Like, seriously, great job. It was really great to hear the Jurassic Park theme song. Oh, so, so lovely. Really brought me back. But, Here's the problem with how they use that theme song. You know, the kids, they arrive to Jurassic World, it's all happy and dandy, and they're playing this theme song. But when you play that theme song, you expect to see dinosaurs. When they use this theme song in Jurassic World, you know what you just see? You just see a montage of the kids just going up in Jurassic World, just arriving there, and you just see Jurassic World a big land compares to seeing dinosaurs when playing that John Williams theme. Yeah, most of the characters are also very forgettable. The thing about Jurassic Park is that they have very memorable characters with very memorable character moments, the interactions, very interesting. There really isn't much of that in this movie. And when there's chaos happening to these characters, I'm just sitting there going, I really don't care what happened because the movie just didn't give me any convincing reason to really care about those characters. Some of the moments in Jurassic World, they're just so stupid. Particularly this one scene with the helicopter. <sighs> Yeah. Speaking of characters I really did not care about, Vincent D'Onofrio, great actor. I love this guy, but he's absolutely wasted in Jurassic World. His reasons were just very poor and it just felt absolutely unnecessary and completely shoehorned. Some of the dialogue in this movie felt very out of place and it just didn't really feel like it belonged there. And I get that there were times where they were trying hard to add comic relief because that's what Jurassic Park had except Jurassic Park had way better comic relief than Jurassic World did. Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard regarding them. This movie somehow gives them an unnecessary past. Because yes, the two of them just have to have a past with each other. But 
it just didn't work. It just felt so off and it really distracted me. I didn't like Nick Robinson's character at the beginning of the movie because he just has to be a douchebag to his little brother for no reason. Like, dude, what did your little brother do to you for you to act like such a douche to him? Why do you have to be a douche to your little brother that is so sweet? And you're just getting mad at him for no reason. Okay, fine, your parents are being divorced. Maybe you're being mad about that or whatever. You're going on with your freaking teen situations. But there was still no reason for him to act like that. Colin Trevorrow, while he does do a good job directing Jurassic World, there were times where I thought his direction just didn't feel right. It just didn't flow well. Some of the camera shots that he used to shoot the movie and direct it, I felt like it just could have been better. And then the last problem I actually had with Jurassic World, which I know is something people are praising the hell out of, is the climax. The climax between the dinosaurs it is underwhelming, man. And here is why I think the climax was really underwhelming. It's very anticlimactic. And the fight is short as hell. It's three minutes long at best. At least to me, it felt like that fight was only three minutes long. And don't get me wrong, yes, I enjoyed seeing the two dinosaurs clash but it just wasn't as good as everyone was making it out to be because it was just so short and it just felt so anticlimactic. The fight could have been so much better. Don't get it wrong, there were still things in the climax I enjoyed just in terms of the dinosaur fight. That was really disappointing to me, to be honest. One last thing I did forget to mention was Jake Johnson, who has a small part. That's another character I did really care about. Even though his part was small, I still really liked the guy because he was just so likable, and there was a few times that he did make me laugh. But overall, guys, Jurassic World, to be honest, was quite disappointing. I didn't really think it was that good of a movie. It's a fun movie. To an extent, it is a fun movie, but it just wasn't good, in my opinion. I'm gonna give Jurassic World two and a half out of four stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Jurassic World? What did you think of the original Jurassic Park movie? And what is the best Jurassic Park sequel, in your opinion? The Lost World Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 3, or Jurassic World. Also everyone, I have just recently become a part of MoviePilot.com where I can share my videos there. So if you guys want to follow me on that website, just type in www.MoviePilot.com slash TigerDude22. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching everyone. You're all very awesome as always. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.